Somebody swiped a dozen Christmas trees from a nursery along Route 7 earlier this week, and tree farm owners say that Grinches target them each year around the holidays. Cat Villanzoni takes a look. A Grinch struck in New Haven overnight Wednesday, swiping a dozen of the Christmas trees that the Werner Tree Farm has for sale at Green Haven Nursery. It is something that happens to us every year. The quantities differ, but I think it's too much of a temptation for some people. It's so common that David Werner says he builds it into the farm's business plan, and losing about a dozen trees a year isn't many. But last year, about 50 of their trees were stolen from an off-site lot in Lincoln, a much bigger blow to the family-run operation. The worst thing is when someone thinks they have a tree reserved, and they show up to cut it, and it's gone. He says most tree thieves don't steal pre-cut ones. They come in and cut their own. And once those trees disappear, they aren't likely to be found. We try to patrol the area, but it's hard to identify our Christmas trees. So it's, uh, um, once they're stolen, it's, it's pretty impossible to recover unless somebody calls us in and, uh, and helps us out that way. Now, the Werner's trees that were stolen were from their second location, which actually happens to be right across from the New Haven State Police barracks. State police tell us that they will be reviewing footage from their cameras to see if they can possibly catch those thieves. Police are now encouraging farmers to install motion-activated cameras to deter or help catch tree thieves. But there's little else they can do. I just watching their property, using game cameras, and uh, speaking with neighbors, and just Vermonters taking care of Vermonters. And Werner says despite the trees that go missing, he knows most of the people who come looking for a tree are happy to pay for it. I think you just have to have a lot of faith in human beings and people being good, yeah. particularly this time of year, particularly Christmas. Cat Villianzoni, Channel 3 News, Middlebury.